subscribers, friends of the channel, YouTubers, and fellow South Africans. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, allow me to start by saying that you are allowed to subscribe to the channel. Um, you are allowed to, to, to turn on your notifications so that you are the first one to know when new videos come out. But also importantly, you are allowed to share your views regarding the videos and suggest topics more importantly so that we can, we can see that the videos that we make are relevant to you and addresses the issues that, we, we, that you are facing. Because we want to get you unstuck. If you have a legal problem and you are stuck, we want to assist you as a member of the public to be unstuck by empowering you with legal information. And the, today's video is, 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 is a second video um, that addresses military uniform. But in this video, I want to focus more on the reasons why uh, civilians and members of the public that are not authorized to wear military uniform should refrain from wearing the said military uniform. I think it's a very, very important topic that we, we are having today. Ordinarily or normally when people talk about uh, the, 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 the prohibition of wearing um, military uniform and with saying that military uniform uh, if you wear it and you are a civilian or you are unauthorized, is a criminal offense and they stop there. And it does not then, in my view, carry a sufficient uh, message to members of the public as to why this is such an important issue. Yes, the first reason is that it is indeed a criminal offense. So you must, as a law-abiding citizen, respect the law. Section 104, subsection 5 of the Defense Act, number 42 of 2002. Go read it. Familiarize yourself with its provisions so that you know uh, the do's and the don'ts. And the don'ts is clear. Do not, as a civilian or unauthorized member of the public, wear military uniform. And when I talk about military uniform, I am more focusing on the camouflage, on the camouflage. The second reason why you should not be wearing a military uniform is that you will face a very uh, uh, um, funny thing where you get members of the, uh, uh, of the force generally confiscating that uniform from you in public wherever you go. Any piece of military uniform that you are wearing, me the members of the South African National Defense Force will react and they will certainly uh, take it from you. If you come across the military police and SAPS members, they will come and arrest you and confiscate your uniform also. After you've been arrested, you will also be subjected to pros criminal prosecution uh, for violating section uh, 104, subsection 5 of the Defense Act. So this is a lot of unnecessary stress that you will be subjected to uh, as you are going through the, the prosecution process. And we don't want that uh, certainly uh, from you. And then again, another issue that is important, and this is why, um, in my view, it is crucial that uh, civilians and members of the uh, public should not be wearing uh, military uniform, is that even criminals will, will take this uniform, disguise themselves as members of the uniform, lay unsuspecting members of the public and start to commit a criminal acts. You see, like steal money from uh, members of the public or hijack people or create a roadblock and do unnecessary things. So when members of the public see uniform members, they need to have confidence that these are indeed genuine authorized members of the South African National Defense Force uh, that are wearing this uniform and not some Tom, Dick and Harry um, somewhere who just wants to use the uniform uh, to commit criminal acts and or activities. So this is very, very, very important. Again, one of the things is that once the, the, this, this trend becomes, um, uh, becomes entrenched in our society, what we will definitely have is more incidents of members of the public 
losing confidence in the uh, members of the South African National Defense Force. Because one, if a civilian is wearing a uniform in a bad way, uh, the people will automatically think that this is a member of the South African National Defense Force. People drinking with our uniform and being all um, slordag, you know, just, just, just being out of line. Um, they will think that, oh, no, this is our defense force. They behave like this and they will lose confidence in the defense force. And you want the members of the public to have confidence in the members of the South African uh, National Defense Force and to respect them. And certainly, if members of the public refrain from wearing the uniform, obviously, then the true ambassadors of the uniform will wear it, and this will increase the public confidence in the South African National Defense Force. And then again, another reason is that, obviously, the wearing of uh, uniform by civilians um, can undermine uh, the good image of the South African National Defense Force. And that is the, the, the image that we want to project. Display discipline is what the South African National Defense Force would want to pro project. And this obviously aligns with the prescripts of the Constitution uh, that they must be structured and managed as a disciplined force. And discipline includes uh, the proper wearing of, of, of uniform and the distinctive marks. So we don't want you then as a member of uh, the public or civilian unauthorized to be impersonating yourself or representing yourself as if you are authorized or as if you are a member of the South African National Defense Force when in truth and in fact you are, you are not. So again, it's important that you know that um, the South African National Defense Force camouflage is a painted it, is painted it, and for exclusive use uh, by members of the of the of the of the South African uh, National Defense Force, or for use by members of the South African National Defense Force, or members appointed as honorary members of the South African National Defense Force. By this I mean uh, you are either a, a regular member of the South African National Defense Force, you are a, a member of the Reserve Force, and, and so forth. And the last reason I think um, that is very important why members of the public, civilians in particular, and unauthorized members should not be wearing military uniform is that it can indeed be a national security threat. It can indeed be a national security threat. Now, with all the reasons that I have highlighted above, I hope it sinks in and it is clear to you as a member of the uh, South African uh, public why you should uh, refrain from, as an individual, wearing a um, military uh, uniform. Now, in the next video, which is the last video on this topic, I will then be addressing... Uh, a very important issue of what to do when I come across somebody that is uh, not supposed to wear a, a South African National Defense Force uniform. Thank you very much for listening. And don't forget what I said in the beginning. Subscribe. Share with us your views, comments, tips, or topics. And also turn on your notifications so that you can be the first to know when new video is out. Thank you very much.